Hello everybody, I'm Aaron the Gaming Godfather, and recently has come to my attention that my how-to series is viewable in other YouTube channels and websites. I'm very flattered at this, very much so, but I'm here to come forward that as of currently any projects to do with True Gamer Dimensions, our podcasts, any True Review, any how-to series videos, if you do not watch these or listen to these on our YouTube channel or any official website or iTunes, anything like that, you're listening or watching an unofficial version. And again, it is very flattering that people want to use my work. But with that in mind, we at True Gamer Dimensions are all for good fun and good laughs. So with that, thank you all for watching and listening. Hello everybody, I am Aaron the Gaming Godfather and this is another How To League of Legends video. Today we're covering support champions. First let's answer the big question, what makes a support champion? First they need to have a spell or an ability that is purely beneficial to the team. Not selfish and not about damaging their opponents. This includes healing, shielding, uh, buffing their attack damage or speed boosting. Anything like that. So the perfect kind of champions for those are Janna, Nunu, Nidalee, Tarek. The list goes on and on. So perfect example in this video, I'm using Tarek, the Gem Knight. Now, if you're all about getting kills or taking a lot of damage, um, you're not going to want to play support. Simply because I'm going to show you right here, I am setting up my lane partner, Rise, with a kill for Ash. I will make sure he gets the last hit and he gets to claim the kill. So he gets more money and we still get equal amount of experience. But he needs more money than I do. I'm simply support and I exceed when my team succeeds. And once again, I set up Jin Zhao with a stun, allowing Ryze plenty of time to catch up and get the killing blow. Ryze gets the kill and I will happily take the assist. Now, a good support will heal away, no problem at all. A great support will be called upon to save their allies. As you can see right here, I made sure that neither Jin Zhao nor Blitz were able to get even close to Ryze and go for the killing blow, allowing Ryze to actually get a little bit of revenge right there in Blitz. From time to time, you may actually have to play part in being the bait. As you can see right here, I run straight at Blitz, open up with a stun, and allow Rise to get not one, but two kills. Goodbye Blitz, goodbye Jin, you're welcome Rise. If it seems like I'm downplaying the role of the support, I do apologize and I mean quite the opposite. A good support can make or break a good game as well as a good fight. Right there, with my constant support of healing, Shaco went in for an easy kill. As far as summoner spells go, I firmly believe your first choice should either be Clarity or Clairvoyance. This way you keep your team happy-go-lucky with either mana or map awareness. Your next choice should either be Flash or Ghost. Perfect example, Blitz gets a hold of me, reels me in, and I'm in for the beating of a lifetime. But a quick heal and a flash away, I'm ready to fight for another day. Well, I'm Aaron the Gaming Godfather, and I'm going to leave you on one last guideline on how to play a good support champion. Always stick with your group, and always support the group. You'll always come up with a win if you follow that one simple guideline.